In the metals quadrant, looking at a small uptrend in the September silver futures contract after a five week drop, silver is now in the midst of this tiny little four day uptrend. This small uptrend actually consists of two sessions lower and two sessions higher, judging from a closing basis, which measured from the swing low on August 8th to today's approximate close, put silver up about four and three quarter percent. The high today was up almost a half of 1%, 45 basis points to be exact, 28.13 half. The low 27.51 was down about one and three quarter percent, and we're still sitting down about eight tenths of a percent on the day. Now, raw sales of gold and silver have improved. Perth Mint's silver product sales picked up in July, which makes you ask, why is that important? Well, Perth Mint, which is owned by the government of Australia, is the world's largest refiner of gold and silver products, and its biggest market for gold and especially silver is the U.S. Perth Mint reported, and this is a quote, a particularly robust month for silver sales in the United States in July. Silver product sales jumped 91% month on month to 939,473 ounces, the highest since February and an 8.8% rise from last year. We also have a little bit of a seasonal tailwind or a seasonal spike going on. August historically is strong for silver starting at about week two, which is where we sit. It's not a long seasonal tailwind, but it's a very sharp one. As a matter of fact, it leads us to about a five or six week seasonal headwind that ends in the first week of October. Now remember, seasonality, not a trading strategy, but as a commodities trader or investor, you need to be aware of what the seasonal trends are. Thank <laughs> you.